Tim the Blacksmith, welcome here. It is awesome to have you here. <laughs> Today we're starting a new project. This is a railroad spike, and I've always liked the railroad spike tomahawks that you make. But my one complaint is they're so small. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we took all of these spikes, welded them together, and make a huge axe? <laughs> think it's gonna be harder than I think. It's usually the case, but I'm looking forward to giving it an honest go, and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, these guys are pretty much cooled off now. I'm gonna give them a quick grind and get them tacked together here. Okay, so it's the next day and I've got the two bundles here, all these spikes, and I've set them into two sets, so 12 and 12. Each side is going to become half the axe. Hopefully, I'm trying a little bit of an unconventional system here. See if it works. So I'm going to tack these all together with the TIG welder and make that into a solid piece, and then this one, and then start carving out the axe. Okay, so this piece is cooled off. I'm gonna put it in the bandsaw here and just quickly trim off the front and the back just to make sure that the weld is good all the way through and also just to clean it up. Then we'll get under the next step. Okay, so these are ready to go and I just gotta quickly make one tool for the next step and then we'll get back to forging these. A lot of material for an axe.
update for you. Uh, I was gonna start into the forging the ax out of these chunks. And then when I started pushing the material, just getting it pre-shaped, started to open up on some seams. So I spent a ton of time trying to get the welds to stick fully on all those seams at the power hammer and at the anvil. I've got the chunks pretty good, not 100%, but I'm gonna go with it. And I've also made those tools. So now we're gonna jump right into the ax, get it pushed up, and then uh, hopefully those seams don't open up on me because that would be <sighs> terrible. Here we go. Okay, so this is where we're at. Just got this stuff all roughed out. Uh, it's a little bit too bad that there's such an indifference in length. I saw it at the beginning. And I was like, where did it come from? Because I started with the same amount of spikes, but when I cut in the bandsaw, they must have been a little bit different square sizes and that really caught me up. So I got a huge difference, which I'll have to deal with, but I'm gonna clean it up and then weld this together. And then I'm just looking at it now, I might add in some high carbon steel on the edge to make this bigger and to really get a good cutting edge. Thinking about this leaf spring here maybe. But we're gonna do the weld right now. Well, clean it up and then do the weld. Okay, so I've just got this thing propped up here and I'm just gonna TIG weld, tack it together, pull that out and then it's gonna be ready to weld together. Okay, here it is, cooled off, it's a new day. I'm gonna quickly add in a piece of leaf spring on the front here to just get a really high carbon edge, cutting edge on the front, and also give me additional material to really try to grow this thing out bigger. That's what's up next. So this is cooled off now, and I'm gonna start doing my layout on the ax here to get our profile. Take a look at how everything's looking.
finishing a couple of the last details on this thing. And this project, you know, just because I've been in front of it, I haven't really been seeing what's going on. And now it has suddenly just popped for me. As soon as I profiled, it's like, oh my goodness, this thing's made out of railroad spikes. That's so crazy. I cannot wait to sharpen it, get a handle on it, and try it out. I'm gonna let it cool off, do a little bit of grinding, then we'll do the heat treat, and then we'll sharpen it. I'm gonna leave it with the forged surface. I just really like that. I think it stays true to the uh, original railroad spikes a little bit as well. So we're gonna start into the handle here. I've chosen a piece of walnut for the handle. I would prefer hickory, but I want that dark brown kind of black color, so that's why I'm using walnut. I'm just now gonna start figuring out where the best place to take the handle out will be in this wood, looking at the grain and everything else. And then we're gonna start shaping it up. We're at the metal lathe here and we are going to try something that I am super nervous about. I'm going to try machining the handle in the lathe. So I've rounded up this end, grabbed that in the chuck, and got the hole in the back for the live center. Let's see how this is going to work. This is one of those ideas that you're going to be like, three minutes you're going to be like, that was the most stupid idea I ever done on the face of the planet. Why did I even think about doing that? Or it's going to be like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty smart about myself. I'm not sure which one it's gonna be. I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Gonna stick the axe in here, just get it heated up on the edge and quickly quench it in some oil outside to make it hard. Okay, here we go into the oil. And this is the second side now. I'm just using the torch to quickly do a little bit of tempering on this blade. Okay, so this is the big moment. I feel super excited and super nervous at the same time, just because I don't want anything bad to happen to the handle as we set this wedge. Walnut wedge. Set it up here, I'm gonna drive it in. <clears throat> All right, here we go.
Oh, what a project, hey? That was a hoot. Thank you so much for watching. Love showing you guys what's going on here in the shop and uh, I would also love it if you would subscribe to the channel so I can show you what the next video is gonna be. For now, that's it for me. Have a good one. Oh man, look at this stuff. We're gonna clean it up glass forever, stink.